You're watching your hometown show on KSLA News 12. A new art exhibit is on fire in downtown Shreveport. To see it, all you need to do is go to Art Space on Texas Street. Joining me today is the artist Marlene Yu and her daughter Stephanie Lusk. Welcome and tell us about this uh, sizzling exhibit, <laughs> Fire, the Element of Life. Well, Fire Element of Life is uh, about high temperatures at the core of the Earth, the surface of the Earth, and also in space. And this show uh, takes uh, her, her different series, the Molten Lava series, Forest Fire series, and the Space and Universe series. And on these large canvases uh, show Marlene's interpretation of these natural phenomena. Absolutely. And these are large scale canvases. Talk yes. a little bit about what we're it's going to uh, see. The um, biggest one is uh, 32 feet uh, horizontal and 8 feet high, and another one is 10 by 20 feet, and there are some group of uh, called Molten Lava Park, will be 20 pieces like a, a TV screen, you know, one by one, line up, yeah. Tell so, us about your fascination with the elements of, of the earth and, and nature. Uh, this is your forte. Well, yeah, uh, forces of nature is m my concern, yeah. Uh, all my paintings are uh, inspired by the nature. Yes. You and grew up in Taiwan. Yes. And so you got to see firsthand these beautiful... Um, beautiful but, yeah, landscape. Beautiful yeah. landscape, but sometimes frightening uh, volcanoes uh, yes. and fire. But you've, you've yeah. harnessed it all and captured your yes, imagery I, of it. I, I have many different series. This is one of the series. Is uh, uh, forces of nature is a major series, and then there's another uh, with figures, uh, female body with the animals that will be showing in the next uh, February in in mm -hmm. uh, the Meadows Museum of Art Center in yes. College. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You've got a lot going on. You have a studio in New York. Yes. Um, and, and the museum will be here. This is so exciting. And for those who don't know, Stephanie is Marlene's daughter. And so are you the driving force to get this exhibit yes. in Shreveport? <laughs> Stephanie, her, tell us about that. That's so, her crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, my mom is artist, so she has some paintings. She paints large scale paintings of abstractions of nature, like 37 feet long, 18 feet high, very colorful, vibrant works. And so she started the Rainforest Art Foundation to find other artists who want to express their love of nature through art and not just painting but also building design, sculpture, dance, poetry, photography. So we're bringing it from New York to Shreveport and then we're also building a museum in honor of her life's work, the Marlene Yu Museum, Shreveport's first contemporary art museum. And uh, so it is a way to kind of introduce uh, Marlene and also my dad James to the area and, and vice versa from the south. Uh, we had a Purple Swamp series and where Lieutenant uh, Governor Jay Darden um, invited her to see the Atchafalaya and the Gulf Coast. Um, and I organized seven exhibitions in honor of her 70th solo exhibition in her 77th year at seven local institutions, the Lucky Sevens. Wait, but so let's go over this again. So we have seven exhibits going on at the same time? They are, mm -hmm. uh, no, they're kind of overlapping uh, in her 77th year. Uh, and um, some of them are overlapping in dates, but not overlapping in content. Each show is its own. It's not like a traveling show. Uh, each one has its own theme and programming. If and so um, to get, I used to joke I'd either have to have a baby or an art show to get them to visit me in Shreveport. Uh, and so since having my son, they've been, and now he's two years old, they've been visiting a lot. And then my dad, with his background in real estate development, uh, He's had, he has a lot of experience in transforming, converting building uh, Soho. blocks in, well, a lot of uh, what are now the trendy art areas in New York. So Soho, Dumbo, Tribeca, uh, Chelsea, Long Island City. And he saw downtown Shreveport um, as a place of potential. And so the so. YWCA old building is now going to be the home. <laughs> um, and, and when is the opening of that? Uh, December 21st is our grand opening and uh, we'll have a ribbon cutting ceremony with uh, downtown development director Liz Swain and some other officials and uh, we'll have um, hors d'oeuvres and wine and 
entertainment provided by various sponsors. Uh, it'll be a Sunday, uh, 1 to 4, free with a suggested $10 donation per family. Uh, and then also a preview party that's ticketed the Thursday prior, 530 to 830. And uh, dinner, drinks, entertainment provided by various sponsors as well. But first we have this exhibit that's yeah. opening tomorrow. Yeah. And you do have the hors d'oeuvres and everything going wow. on. Tell us very quickly. Uh, yeah, there's a, I think there's a hors d'oeuvres cash bar and that's um, $10 per person um, in the main space at Art Space um, and live music. Okay. Uh, it also coincides with um, uh, Julie Glass's work, All Abstract right. Concrete. So we're really excited about tomorrow's S opening. And the public's invited. And for more information, they can go to artspaceshreveport.com. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, for, um, for more of the uh, Rainforest Art Foundation opening, rainforestartfoundation.org or marleneumuseum.org. We're also on Facebook. Come and like us. All right. It okay. sounds beautiful. Thanks so much for joining us today, artist Marlene Yu and Stephanie Lusk. That will do it for your hometown show for today. I'm Kelly Johnson. Thanks for watching.